How's it going, you beautiful sons of guns? My name's the Dapper Saint, and welcome to my playthrough of Amori. As I talked previously, I wanted to try some Let's Plays because it pushed me to get out of my comfort zone. I chose Amori because of the fact that it has an amazing art style, the musical score is great, it's a psychological horror, and a lot of other reasons as well. But enough talk, let's just get into it. I'm gonna cut myself out of this intro so that we can enjoy this together. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. No matter what happens, promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise me. <clears throat> Welcome to the white space. That is indeed a lot of white. A little bit of black, though. I feel light, too. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Are you like the music? Good start, good start. And here we are in our beautiful white space. A bubble of sorts, I guess? I don't know. Can I run around? Yes, I can. A tissue box or wiping your sorrows away. Mood. Meow. Waiting for something to happen? You booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Stare at the screen. You stared at a screen. <laughs> what would you like to do? Open your journal. Today I spent time in the white space. Everything was okay. Today I visit my friends. Everything was okay. Today I visit my friends. Everything was okay. Is this just a lot of... Alright, cool. A little bit of repetition? At least he's got something going on for him. It's good to have a schedule that you know that's already going to be set up. Good for you. Amori? Amori. Let's go with Amori. What's this? Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Hell yeah. Alright, good start. <laughs> oh man, that's actually... I'm not going to lie, despite the fact that that being a lot of red and blood, that's rather creative. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what I, Amori wants to do with his life, but art is definitely a good choice for him. Something fell nearby. Oh, found it. You got a shiny knife. Well, that's off to a good start, isn't it? <laughs> uh, is this floating? It is not. Okay. It's actually a door. A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? I guess open the door? Oh, for a second there, I thought he was just going to sit right in front of the door and do absolutely nothing. Because he took a second to walk through. <laughs> okay, this is a lot more colorful. Alright, alright. Okay, I gotta think of a voice real quick. Hold on, give me a second. It's gotta be a combination of easy to do, but also good for the character. So, uh... Hi, Amori! We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Wanna play cards with us? We are just about to start another game. I I'm never good at feminine voices. Oh. Oops. You ran over them, didn't you? Never mind. <laughs> oh man, Aubrey! What the heck? You messed up all the cards! I was winning too. Hey there, Kale. There's no need to get angry. Yeah, I like that. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, hero. You only say that because you were losing. Da da da. <laughs> I might have a point. Oh, can I run around again? Yes, I can. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. It looks like it's made out of waffle. There's a movie on the TV. Four boys are walking in a railroad on railroad tracks. A cat-shaped hole. Is that where my cat came from? Did he just fall through into the oblivion and came to the white space? 
A photo of someone familiar. Would you like to make toast? Hell yeah, I'd like to make toast. Uh, anything else? You made toast. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's just talk to him. Oh wait, hold on. I want to see this over here. You got a stuffed toy. Did I just smash that with my bare hands? It looked like a pretty big watermelon. Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know, the other day that good-for-nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Isn't that just what I picked up? <laughs> Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Omori? Okay, so my name is Omori. Gotcha, gotcha. Pretty please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it just happens I happen to have it on me already. Is that... Could it be? <laughs> the little twirl. Aubrey snatched a to stuffed toy from you. Hey, Kel. Look, it's my stuffed toy. W what the heck? Where did you get that? Omori well, found it. Lucky for me, I got some real friends. Ooh, throwing shade over here. Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. She was the one who was making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? <laughs> Aubrey? I'm glad that hero is just the voice of reason between these two. Fine. Thank you, Amori. I knew I could count on you. You're the best. Can I leave? Oh, I can. No, I cannot. Cannot leave without your friends. Okay, I should probably talk to the other ones. Hey, Amori. I'm glad that it's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mari Bazil invited us to a picnic at the playground. Did you want to go see them? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, everyone. Let's go see Mari and Bazil. I hope I'm not butchering that name. I'm most likely butchering that name. I had to think about that one. <laughs> Going out to Mari? Use your allowance for the day. Oh, well, okay. 50 clams? What type of currency is clams? What is this tomfoolery? I love the little popping noise. Oh yeah, fresh air at last! Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. Hey, wait a second! <laughs> Help me guys, I'm stuck! Only if you say please! Kel, stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Took you long enough. Well, sorry, princess. Uh, ooh, what the hell are you? I should probably not judge the looks. Okay, no, let's keep going. Interesting cast already, god. Is that a monkey that has an evil intent? It looks like a monkey with an evil intent. Mari, Brazil! Well, screw all that, I want the candy beside them. I... Uh, oh, mm, I don't know what to give voice of you yet. Uh, I'm just gonna go to standard Cody. Oh, hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing today? I mean, I don't actually speak, so hey, that works. Kel's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> that sounds so condescending. How could it be? Psh, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being all whiny. Well, Kel, you made a very convincing point. <laughs> now, I don't know who to believe. Believe me! No, believe me! <sighs> Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Shit up, hero. Look at you, being all responsible. <laughs> I love these characters already. I really like that about you. <laughs> uh, come on, Mari. <laughs> Not now. Oh, hero, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. <laughs> While we were waiting for you guys, Bazil and I were going to go through his photo album. Did you want to join us? Of course, after all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Bazil, Bazil, get a load of this! Come on, Bazil, take a picture of me! Uh, sorry, Kel. I only take photos of people when they least expect it. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Brazil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. 
Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like... We just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> I guess you could put it that way, yeah. Sure, I can do that. <laughs> Did you want to show your photo album now, Bazil? Ah, uh, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Bazil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure it'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here, this way we can all see it. Ooh, okay, let's see these. Mari's teaching everyone to make flower crowns. Omari and Kel are holding Mari's example. So pretty. Hmm. So kind of cute. Nice. Oh, I like this one. Can I look up? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, forget it. I love Hero already. I just love his hair. I feel like I'm a little bit biased, though. Oh, but that's cute. Mari and Hero had to take a picture of us. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Kel drinking a bottle of milk. His favorite. I shouldn't get clo too close, right? He might be able to get the camera wet. But grammar is hard, you know. Oh, well, that's just wholesome. After eating, everyone fell asleep, except Hiro and Mari. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Hmm, fair. Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. Got him in the axe, boys. He's lying to us. All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? <laughs> I can't tell at all. Well, that's cute. That's very cute. These photos are all so charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to steal my cameras sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Do y'all want to go hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts. Wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. I don't know what you're saying. I think of Brussels sprouts when you say that, but I'm just gonna agree. Yeah, yeah, sure, it sounds fun. Let's go. It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll sit with this one out. You all can go on and enjoy yourselves. If you ever feel wary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picture. Picture basket. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you again soon. Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. Alrighty, alrighty. So we can move around a little bit. Squish the little egg, squish the egg. Everybody run over the egg. Uh, I'm guessing this is a quest, right? Hey, Omari, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Hey, just wait a second. Where do you think you're going? Oh, you meant literally just stay there. Okay. Gotcha. You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide-and-seek. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You want to play hide-and-seek again? But, you know how this turned out last time. Yeah, sorry, Barely. I think we're gonna have to pass. We're going to Bazil's house soon, so we'll catch you up with you later. Not so fast. You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as boss. Why are you calling people out like that? That's not cash money at all. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. You can ban people from a playground? That's just kind of rude. I don't know what that moron is up to now. Eh, good riddance. So, you want to play hide and seek, Bazil? I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? Oh, great, cool. I get to choose. Amori, Amori, my best friends. Come on, you know you want to play hide and seek, don't you? Eh, sure, why not? Eh, that's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. Dana! <laughs> oh, he's got a little candy on his back. I'm gonna steal it. Alright, maggots, here's the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. Here are my hands, and I got some straws. See? Everyone here is gonna pick up a straw. The one with the shortest straw is gonna be it. And we'll have everyone find everyone else. 
Oh, no, no, that was wrong. <laughs> Sounds easy enough, right? I have the sneaky suspicion I'm going to be the one that's in. Well, looks like the one with the shortest straw is Omori. I fucking called it. When you're ready to play, walk up to the tetherball pole and close your eyes. No peeking, or else. What if I just leave? I cannot, damn it. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're running off to? Get back here. All right, fine, fine. Five, four, three, two, one. This isn't timed or anything, right? What the fuck? Is that Kel? Whoa, you found me. Now I can help you find everyone. Just don't tell Barley about this, got it? <laughs> oh, he really didn't care about winning, did he? Oh, that's really wholesome of you. And listen, I'm not gonna lie, Aubrey, you kinda suck at this. Aw, oh, you found me! Darn! <laughs> Let's go find everyone else together, Omori. Oh, that's kinda creepy, actually. I don't like how he's just sitting inside the tree. You okay in there, buddy? Huh? Where am I? <sighs> I was dreaming and I was on a private beach servants fawning me with palm tree leaves on every side. When suddenly, wham! And now here I am. I must have fallen asleep while hiding. I guess that's me game over for me. It's okay, buddy. You tried your best. Uh, can I just... <clears throat> Hold on. Let me get a little bit of water for quick. <laughs> Is that Hero? I don't think I saw those people playing hide and seek. Oh, hey guys! Oh. You know... <sighs> I found a really good hiding spot, but, uh, whoo, Sean and Ren, yeah, invited me and joined in their <sighs> exercise routine. It's fun, and good for you. You guys should really try it, this. It's, uh, really, uh, a workout. Oh man, I, I'm so tired. <laughs> wow, you really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Come on, hero! Let's go! We gotta help Omari find everyone! Alright, alright. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun. Yeah, let's do it again sometime. See you later, hero. I love that his name is literally Hero. Can I steal the banana? Eternal banana. Majestic. Darn, you found me. I guess I, that means I lose. You know what Happy sh would say right now? She'd say something like, Bangs, you always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. Oh, that's kind of sad. Is that person? <laughs> Bowling, it's me, Happy! You found me, so that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know. I'm gonna go count the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, O, M, um, O... <laughs> Gee, I wonder where Vaughn is. Turns out, there's not many places to hide here for a guy my size. But this was still fun. As long as Barely is happy, I'm happy. Oh, that's good. That's a great way of looking at it. Uh. Nose goes. Shh. You're too loud. They'll hear us. Nose goes, buns goes. Ah, be quiet. Nose. We're hiding, remember? Aha! We found you, bun and nose. Nose, they found us. Nose goes. Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. Um, alright. Interesting characters. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. No, no, we're missing a uh, fish guy. Oh wait, actually these two down here. Whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. You probably should disturb this. Alright, cool. Where's for me? Alrighty, uh... I think I checked out pretty much everything. Oh. There's just straw on the ground. Hmm. Pull it out. Yes. <laughs> you took too long. Took you guys long enough. I thought I was gonna be suffocated in there. How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, eh? Not bad. I like it. I liked it. I appreciate it. it looks like you pretty much found everyone else too. Unexpected. But I like it. Wait, no, Bazil. Where's Bazil at? Let's do a final roll call. Then up. Vaughn. Here always is, buddy. Charlene. Here. Mikkel. Oh, I gotta punch him. Oh, what gives? Happy. Here, here. Browse. Ah! <laughs> Why do you just run off? Bangs. Here. Bun. 
Bun is here. Nose. Nose goes. Is that all he says? Hero. <laughs> Present. Kel. Ah. You really gotta do this every time, Burly? Hey! Hey, what gives? That was uncalled for. Well, you're just a little bit of a bully, aren't you, Burly? Aubrey! Here I am! Yeah, we are missing Basil. Okay. That's strange. I thought I saw him go near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil! You come out now! You already won! Hello, Brazil! Brazil? <laughs> hey, there's Brazil. Brazil, are you okay? Are... are you stuck? Uh, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Boss, I should have known it was you. Oh, so that's the guy that got kicked out, right? You good-for-nothing scoundrel. Let go of Bazil. Yeah, what did Bazil ever do to you? Bazil is our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Bazil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you stupid heads. You think this is about Bazil? Don't play dumb. You know I'm here. How dared you not invite me to hide and seek? I'm the one who showed you how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call hide and seek without anybody body slamming? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, not the flower crown, you dick. Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Brazil. How could you? Let go of him, butt, you bully. No. If I can't play with everyone, then no one can. This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited. Oh. Hey, first bit of fighting. Gotcha, gotcha. I like it. <laughs> Look how sad Bazil looks. That's just depressing. I'm just gonna attack, because I have no idea what I'm doing yet. <laughs> alright, alright. Yeah, 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 you weaklings. You call that an attack? Boss cracks his knuckles. I can't tell if that means that he's going to hit us with something hard, or we should just get ready to kill him. Uh, oh, he actually took a lot of damage. A sad poem. Give him depression! <laughs> Defeat any enemy with depression. It always works, I promise. He feels sad now. Aw. <laughs> He's got a little tired eyes. Okay, he lost juice. I don't think I remember what that is, actually. Shit, what is that? Oh, it's probably the SP, because when I use the sad poem, it costs me some of that bottom thing. Can I make him more depressed? Make him even sadder! Uh, what other abilities do you have? You have Annoy. Uh... I feel like it's on brand to annoy Aubrey for some reason. How's he looking? He's looking leaky. He's looking leaky. Oh, this was actually rather easy. Shit. Let's finish him off. He should be down this round. Now you've made me angry. Oh, It's time for my special move. Body slam. Oh, wait. Don't hurt Basil, you asshole. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Hold on. Shit. Wait. No. Amori did not succumb. Ah, okay. Is this just a cheeky way of giving us a little bit of a tutorial? I like it, I like it. How are you still moving? <laughs> hey man, that's just life sometimes. Alright, uh, stab a bitch. Oh, not snack. No, do not eat Amori. <laughs> there you go. Easy peasy. Get out of here. It's, we're just gonna ignore the fact that I'm at 1 HP and all my friends are literally toast. This isn't fair. Rematch! I want a rematch! <laughs> Just kick him in the knee. <laughs> Bazil, are you hurt? Ah, uh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. That doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. <laughs> I know that. There. Does that feel better? I don't know what's on that poster, but I'm guessing it has something to do with Boss. Uh, Bazil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Omori held on during that final attack, or else we would've all been toast. 
It's okay. I trust him. When you're all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? He just turns around. Aww. <laughs> he is the true Sundary of the squad. <laughs> That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. <laughs> this is my spot. No one is welcome here. He went from an aggressive person to a very sad boy. Alright. <laughs> well, he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds fun to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause us any trouble, okay? Da da da. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, if I had to assume, it's probably this pathway down here. Yeah. Psst. Hey. Psst. You. Yeah, you over there. Is that a talking trash can? Um, Amori? I think that mailbox is talking to us. Oh, it's a mailbox. Maybe we should go check it out. Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Kick, kick, kick. Uh, sure. For some reason, you take clams as a currency, so I guess I might as well use these. Let's buy some candy. Candy's nice. Yeah. Uh, apparently better than orange juice, heals juice. So the bottom one is juice. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. And when he was sad, he lost juice. Okay. I guess when you're- I guess it makes sense. When you're sad, you don't want to do anything, so you run out of juice. Huh. Alright, I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Ooh, flowers. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who's always sees the bright side of things. Man, I don't know if I love you or if I hate you. Like, there's something about your personality that I just really want to fucking stab, but at the same time, it's like you're too gentle and nice for me to ever want to do that. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. Oh, that's awesome. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Mari must be a sweet little gentle soul. Up. Uh, unlike that individual. Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? <laughs> Don't you know, Kel? That's a Sprout Mole. Sprout Moles are highly intelligent creatures, but became dangerously vicious when they're a loss. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. They're stomping all over the flowers. Uh-oh. I think we're about to get into a fight. Yep. I love this music. God, it's a bop. Ah, it looks like the Sprout Mole is angry. Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since this Sprout Mole is angry, it attacks higher. But on the other hand, it's lower its defense. So, what you're going to say is now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori! Let's do this! Alright, kick its ass, guys. Let's do this. Just attack, 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 and attack. Don't even give him a chance. Destroy him where he stands. And he's down like a light, hell yeah. Ah, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey Amori, now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where you can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you a foe fax journal. There, now it's in your pockets. The journal is yours record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Uh. I'm using a controller, so no. These flowers are roses. Can you guess with who they remind me of? Um, probably somebody amazing and majestic. Someone suave and kind. Probably hero. They remind me of hero. Hey, let's fucking go, bitches! <laughs> I, I totally guessed that just because of the fact that I gave him that voice. Did you guess correctly? Yes, I did. <laughs> roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meaning. Pink roses symbolize admiration, orange roses symbolize passion, yellow roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me any of those roses in particular. Is that a roast? <laughs> I think Hero is all of the roses, because he's versatile and universally loved. Aw, well that's just wholesome. Ah, these are a type of flower called Galeodolus? God, no. Ah, should I cut that or keep that in? Fuck. <laughs> Galio, yeah, me too, buddy. They're also known as the sword flower. You might be guessed, but they represent strength of character. 
someone who has honest and strong moral values, someone who stands by their convictions. Galideus, <laughs> I guess, reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is Aubrey is really stubborn. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. She's like, please stop fighting. I don't want to cry. Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout, stop twirling. You're destroying all the flowers. I, I don't think him dancing in a circle is really going to destroy anything, but you do, you Bazil. Oh no, he's speeding up. And we're in battle. Gotcha. Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. I see, said the blind man. Alright, uh, I think I'm just gonna kick your ass either way. I don't care whether you're happy or not, honestly. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do combat in this, if I'm gonna keep it or cut it. I'll probably, uh, show any new enemies we run into, but if it is somebody that we have ran into already, I'll probably just cut that out, you know? Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. Here, I even drew a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. You got an emotion chart. Okay, okay. You wanna look at- sure, why not? Alright, so if I'm guessing, you're also weaker towards the one. Gotcha, gotcha. So, if they're sad and you attack somebody that's angry, they're gonna take more damage. But if a happy person, or if an angry person attacks a happy person, you're going to do less damage. Huh. Okay. Easy triangle, easy triangle. Actually, Kel, that's a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? Got him! Hey! Well, that's who. <laughs> but mostly because cacti and cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and they can survive in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Cal. Whoa, neat! Cacti are awesome! God, what a backhanded compliment. Ah, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous, just like a Mori. I don't know, I just think it's cute. Oh, one more person. Alright, we ran into happy, sad, or like happy, angry. I'm guessing we're about to run into sad. It's all good, Bazil. We got the hang of this by now. He just went right up to it, like, hey, you wanna punch me? Hmm. This sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in fetal position? <laughs> sorry, sorry, that just put this weird uh, image in my head. Like of uh, the Jojo, like, Passione squad kicking that one person. I just imagine our whole little squad here kicking the shit out of a bean sprout when he said that. That means it doesn't do as much damage as normal, but also takes less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of his misery. I guess I should try using the actual combat system, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack you. I'm gonna attack you as well, but I'm gonna annoy Aubrey because we're gonna keep with our like continuity of making Aubrey pissed, and then we're just gonna attack with you. Hmm. Okay. Oh shit! Yeah, that did like 10 extra damage. Awesome. All right. Well, it is sad and depressed, but now it's dead, so it doesn't have to worry about that. Let's keep going. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, did you get in front of us? Yeah, you are just the save point, aren't you, Mari? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. There's some things that never change with RPG Maker games. Not gonna lie, this game is actually pretty damn peaceful. Like, there's something about it that I just kind of enjoy. That doesn't sound enjoyable, though. Uh, oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> you looking kind of thick, Mr. Bean! Ooh! <laughs> is that actually a bean sprout? Oh my god, it's an old bean sprout. Ye old bean sprout, more like ye old sad sprout. Make him depressed. I think this is a good setup. Make your enemy sad, make Aubrey upset, and then you can have a good time. I'm curious how juice works for the enemies. I'm guessing that stops them from doing like special attacks like we do. Hopefully. I don't want to get like destroyed for nothing. Ow. Oh, he missed me. Nice. Ah, yeah, so Aubrey took... Actually, not. Uh... Yeah, sure, make everybody upset. That'll be fun. So I need to consider, actually, the speed of all my people. Because, uh, just because you buff somebody doesn't mean that you go first. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can all do this if we work together. 
It looks like I'm going to have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Well, if Bazil would help us too, I think we'd have a good time here. I mean, come on, Bazil. I know you're sitting in the background, but you can help us. You're literally just watching us get our ass kicked by a giant bean. Let's try again, Omori. We'll get him this time. Alrighty, let's go. Wait, where'd you get a baseball bat from? Are you using a baseball bat to fight? Aubrey, what the hell? Period, you don't notice anything different, do you? Uh, yeah, I'm noticing a distinct lack of sad and angry. Why did you debuff us? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. With the power of friendship, anything's possible! That's what I got out of that. Alright, go back to normal, everybody. Just do your thing. Just attack him. Oh! Oh, and you can do, like, uh, effects now. So what if I pass to Amori? <laughs> Alright, well, that, oh, he's actually sad. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That's great. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you for that. Kel, you are a bean. Okay, so I can trip and attack again. That seems boring. Let's pass to Hero. Let's see what happens. Oh, cool. Okay, so you did a bonus attack. Nice. I like that. It fluctuates depending on who you're talking to and who's actually causing the attack. That's sick. Nice. We're full of energy. This is the perfect time to use our special attack. Amori. After you attack, press on the... On the right side, release energy. Hope you're all ready. Come on, everyone. Let's show this big guy what we're made of. All right, so attack, 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 attack. Uh, oh, that's down, not right. I almost messed up. You lied to me, game. With the power of friendship, anything's possible. I like how I'm still sad down there. <laughs> like, yeah, this is cool, I guess. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think 300 damage? Dang! I kinda like this combat system, I actually really vibe with it. This is kinda neat. And there you have it, Hero Battle 101. I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Aw, oh, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger than that guy. I should have teach you some skills one of these days. So, I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself you know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can study together next time. I'll give it to Amori and hold on to it for now. You got self-help guide. Okay, convenient. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide. So be sure to check it out every now and then. Oh, so maybe the abilities change over time? Interesting. Ah, little shoe home. Little shoe house, if you will. That way you can stay away from people. You can shoe away them. Oh. Say cheese! Oh, well shit. Why'd you get to catch us off guard like that? Uh, it's kind of blurry. That's okay. That gives it character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind! I want to see it! Oh, uh, sure thing. We all look so cute! How's my hair? Your hair's bedhead, man. I hate to tell ya. I want to see! I want to see! And then Omori. Omori noises. Oh, hey Omori, did you want to look at the photo too? Yeah, sure. Aww. Well, that's just wholesome. It's too bad that it came out blurry. You still all look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Woohoo! Another shot for the photo album! Move over, Aubrey, I can't see. Hey, stop it pushing! You already had your turn! Get out of my way, Cal! Wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first. No, me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she's about to collapse. Ah, uh, stop. You're all knocking me over. Did I say she? Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> uh, yikes. Oh, don't cry, Bazil. Shit. Uh, hero, beat the shit out of Kel real quick. Uh, whoops. Oh, my God. Bazil. I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why we both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry, Kel. We he didn't mean it, Hero. Or <laughs> I'm sorry, Kel. Please don't tell Mari. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Yeah, pick up the photos. At least only three of them got knocked out, so that's not that bad. Here's your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put him back in the photo album together. Thanks, Hero. 
Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet when you come in. Yeah, you don't want to get your dirty shoes in the shoe. Aw, oh, well isn't this nice and cozy? A little bit of a hoarding addiction, but you do you, Bazil. Alright. Bazil's photo album. His most precious belonging. I'm not gonna lie, and I know this is gonna sound sad, I thought Bazil was a girl first time I saw them, so I was just like, ah, shit. <laughs> Are you to put the photos back into Mari? Hell yeah. Hmm, darn. I don't think I remember where the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Bazil. Mori has a really good memory, so I'm sure he'll be able to figure this one out in no time. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go with that one, buddy. Oh, does it actually tell me where it's supposed to go? Okay, well, that helps a lot. Awesome. I thought I actually had to figure it out myself. Okay, let's put it right here, and then this one goes down here. Thank God. Thank you, games, for becoming in clutch. Ugh. I was about to look really, really bad. There, good as new. I'm really sorry about pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise never to fight with Aubrey ever again. Unless she starts at first. <laughs> this is really heartwarming. I love this little group. It's just wholesome shit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see the photo album. Thank you for helping me out and putting it back together. Ah, this is fucking sick. I love this. What'd you drop? Huh? That's strange. The photo must have been loose. Huh? What's this? Did I take this photo? What is it? Something... Something about it seems... So familiar. Uh... No. No. That can't be. Oh shit. Oh no. Mari! She I forgot for a bit that this was psychological horror. <laughs> okay, uh... Can I do anything? What's... Did anything new? I hear a heartbeat. Ah, uh, seems to be the same. Oh, no, there's a new one. Hi, how's it going? You look cute. I like you. Tissue of wiping your sorrows away. Well, I'm not crying yet. I feel like I'm gonna end up crying in this game. Mm. I don't think anything's different in here. Heat, laptop, blah blah blah. Cool, cool. Meow. Yeah. Not much to do around here, is there? Meow. Yeah. What is there? Meow. Yeah. Are you looking for a way out? Meow. Yeah. There's always one. But. Um. Alrighty. Well, I don't like where this is going. Squish. A little bit of squish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think that you were cutting a cheesecake and you just like it happened to be right on your chest. Look at all of us. They're all of our memories together. Well, they're rather dark, I must say. You might want to work on your actual. Photogenic? This? No, not, uh, lighting ability, yes. Try getting a ling ring like like I did. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they all happened at all. Also, I should point out, if I, uh, say something slightly wrong, just go with it, man. I'm, I'm not the best reader sometimes. Let's make some new memories together, okay? Ah, I don't like that noise. Fuck off. Nah, no, 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 no. Don't do that. That actually felt really wrong. Why do I kind of like fall back into heroes sometimes? I think it's because the hair. <laughs> you see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Ah, okay. Let's just go with Dapper. Let's go with Dapper. I like Dapper. Dapper's good. Sir Dapper the Second. There we go. This boy's name is Dapper? Yes, it is. A rather weird name, I know. They just came out the womb and was like, damn, that boy's got a top hat. Let's give him a name like it. Okay, so that's the dream world, and this is the real world. Hmm. Old computer. Hey, Dapper, it's Molly. <laughs> I, I regret making that my name. It's st I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? Ah, oh, we're home alone. I don't like where this is going. 
The movers are going to be at the house in a few days, so I left a list of uh, things you can do before they arrive. Also, sorry, mommy messed up. I also forgot to tell the electricity company that we need a few extra days before we move. So lights might be cut out over out sometime tonight. So I am back at home with no lighting? What kind of mother are you? Anyway, I need to, I know the moving to a new place could be nerve wracking right now. A lead change in scenery will be positive for both of us. Gotcha, gotcha. I know you wouldn't have not talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. So we're a neat. We're a shut-in. That goes well with the white space. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put up our house for sale. He's been calling every, uh, uh, ev calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a bit lonely. Maybe you should try to pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Mwah. Bye, honey. Zzz. Something change? Oh, you're hungry. Uh, that sounds like the noise of something changing. Instead, it's my stomach rumbling. Hey, okay, I don't think there's anything. Is that a picnic table? Yeah. Alright, cool. Mmm! Hold on a second. Uh, I will say one thing already. I noticed the fact that, uh, my face is slightly longer. I'm guessing that the me in the dreamland is younger than the me in real life. Okay, that's good. Oh, fuck no. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Okay, it's good. Cool. Never touch that again. Now, I've learned one thing about video games. Never look at a mirror twice. Never look at a mirror in general when it comes to RPG makers. It is just a bad omen. You do that and you're screwed. Something's gonna happen. It's free real estate, it's cheap, and it's easy. Never look in a mirror. But, but you need food. Well, fine. Are you scared of heights? I don't think a single story is really that high, but whatever. Go back to sleep then, you peasant. And just like that, we're back up, because we're hungry. Alright, well, I told you. I told you so, bro. Fuck off with the noise, please. Ugh, I don't like it. That's a long way down. I recommend doing a backflip. Okay. Can I run? I cannot run. I guess that makes sense. Need a hand down? <laughs> Man, these uh, staircases are a little bit more handsy than I recall. Um, way more handsy. Yeah, go a little bit faster then. Is that a stabby device? Why is there a stabby device on the staircase? Whatever, pick it up. This game has a lot of hands in it. Uh, okay, yeah, go faster, go faster, go faster. Can I run? I cannot run. Why can I not run? I mean, I guess I'm going down a staircase. It makes sense. Yes, I know you're hungry. Keep going. Go faster, faster. Oh, uh, it's gonna catch me, isn't it? I don't think that's how you grab people. His hand went over me. Oh. Uh. Alright, uh, fuck it up! Shoves dapper. That's just mean. You're a bully, aren't you? You're something. You're a bully. Attack it again? Alright, still taking damage. I could not do anything about it. That's depressing. One more time for good measure. Man, this really is ineffective. It's almost as if you're swinging a knife at nothing. Dapper? Yeah? I don't have any skills. Taunts as he falls. Falling? Oh, okay. Can you stop? Taunts as he falls. I'm, I'm not being very effective in this fight. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Stay to yourself and calm down. Is that a skill now? It is. Did it work? I wasn't actually looking. Shit, what happened? Did I miss something? <laughs> Oh, cool, we're down. Hell yeah. I guess it's not towards the food. Let's go this way. Can I not? Okay, uh... Okay, down here then. Gotcha. Give me that food. Give me that delicious, scrum dilliumptious food. Pick up a steak knife. Ah, yes, of course, of course. You look in the fridge, and you find a gold steak. Ah, how convenient. You got a gold steak. Probably heat it up first. Alright, uh, let's throw that bad boy in here, then. Put the cold in there. Okay, wait for it to go. 
In the meantime, how are you doing? I don't think that steak's ready. That was very quick. Alright, eat that steak, my dude. Yeah, delicious. Scrumptidiumptious. Why do you have a napkin and everything ready as if it's a restaurant? I guess it was put up there for you anyway. It's, your mother probably left it. That makes sense. Woo-wee! That was a good-ass steak, let me tell you. Ooh, maybe not. It was drugged. Oof, your stomach didn't agree with that. Mm, probably need to go to the bathroom, shouldn't I? Alright, we'll take a shit. That was a pretty liquidy shit. You threw up. Oh, that was not a shit. Alright, let's go home. I heard a knock. I heard another knock. Okay, we get it. Yeah? What's up? Oh, it's Mari. Hey, Dapper, it's Mari. Wait. Why... Why are you in the colors? The dream colors. Did you open the door for me? Oh, cool. I'm glad the world changed for that. Sure. Yeah, fuck it. Let's open the door. I don't see why not. Hello, Mari? Are you there? The fuck? Oh, no. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, fuck that. We're going to bed. Yeah, we're going. We're going right to bed. Oh, I don't like that noise either. Oh, I don't know what that was. We're going right to bed. Good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Don't let the bug bugs rip out your intestines. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. It took me a second to figure out what I was looking at. I was like, is that hair? That's not, that's not a face. <laughs> I was just like, nope. <laughs> I should have saw that coming, though. I really kind of put myself in those kind of situations, don't I? Alrighty. And just like that, we're back into the white space. Okay. Um, I don't think anything's different yet. What's that? Is that the little, like, I've noticed that that character keeps on popping up. It's like a little ghosty with an eyeball in the middle. What is this? Hangman. Uh, I can't, oh, I don't have any letters. Alright, cool. Press Q to, I don't have a Q on my controller. Does this look like a Q on my controller? <laughs> Something fell nearby. Oh, found it, finally. What are you? An idiot sandwich. You found a map. That was a big ass thump for a map. It's most likely made out of paper, but all right. So zero out of 26 letters. Okay, that makes sense. And then a beautiful world. That looks great. I like it. Although it is pitch black and rather depressing. All right, uh, can I leave now? I'm guessing it just kind of continues on from here, huh? You just go between the real life worlds and the uh, not so real worlds. As I stated before, I will say that, uh, something is definitely wrong, obviously, but, uh, it's weird how that this dream world is a smaller, younger version of us, and probably smaller, younger versions of them? I guess? Oh, thank goodness you're here! Have you seen Bazil? We can't find him any- er, have you seen Bazil? We can't find him anywhere! We should go tell Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. Yeah, about Mari. What the fuck was that earlier, also? Can I get my clams for the day? Give me my 50 clams. Come on, Mr. Snakey. 200? Woo! Okay. I'll take it. Thank you, Snakey. I love you. Oh. Okay. Uh. I got an A. It's a rather realistic A for a dream world, but alright. Amari, you're okay. Yeah, and you're a hell of not. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that was earlier in the real world, but something's obviously wrong with you. Where's Vazil? He's not with you, Mo Omori? Uh, about that, no idea, man. She just kind of, or he just kind of poofed away. No, I'm afraid not. Last thing I remember was sorting photos with Vazil in his house. And next thing I know, I'm waking up in neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Omori. But I hope Vazil is okay. Who's going to protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. We'll find Br Brazil for sure. You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like these that we gotta stay positive. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Brazil's house? 
There might be something that we missed. That's a spirit hero. As always, I'll be here if you need me. Woo! Okay, that changed quickly. Alright, I think that's a great place to end this episode. Let me just save real quick. God, that is, that is fantastic. I am in love with this so far. This is exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I do hope you enjoyed the Let's Play, or at least the first episode of it. Uh, it's going to be a different challenge for me to try to edit this. I want to make sure that I still get my quick and like fast kind of editing, but I still want to be able to give light to the actual Let's Play itself. So hopefully I'll figure that out. If you have any actual suggestions, leave them out in the comments, or if you just want to say hello or anything, that works too. And while you're here, why not subscribe or leave a like? It always helps. But honestly, at the end of the day, all I can ask is that you have a wonderful night tonight, and as always, stay dapper.